what's up you guys welcome back to Coco Valley and today I have a video that a lot of you guys really need because we're going into volleyball season and a lot of us don't have a gym that we can work out at this video is going to show you some things that you can do to start practicing for volleyball season without a volleyball gym let's go Now first on our lineup is learning our volleyball shuffle and this is the pre-footwork to your shuffle. So we need to learn our posture and position by doing these low squats. So I'm staying really low to the ground and I'm shuffling left and right. But first you see me here shuffling to my right really slowly. I'm keeping my hands up in the volleyball ready position as if I'm going to receive a ball at any moment. You have to always be ready. Just like coaches say, stay on your toes. Make sure to do this very slowly and focus on your form. Keep your arms ready to pass at any time. So this is very similar to the last one, except for I'm doing low squats with an added platform. So I'm adding my platform in there as if I'm ready. And you can even say ready or mine every time you go down for your platform. Make sure you're keeping your platform straight and you have the correct form with your entire body. We're working on form here, guys. Here, I'm doing a fast paced shuffle. So I'm going back to my target and back. And I'm making sure to, once again, stay with correct with my form, but I'm also making sure to exert energy. Now we're doing our favorite exercises, sprinting quickly and then receding back with a back shuffle. Ooh. So I'm gonna continue to sprint as fast as I can and shuffle back with your arms in the right position as if you're gonna receive a ball at any time. This is important because volleyball is a very quick action sport and a lot of things happen on the turn of a dime. Now this is a sponsored post and I know that we always like to practice our serves and whenever we're practicing our serves we always have to hit the ball and it ends up going somewhere wild. So this will keep you from hitting the ball and it going somewhere wild because the ball stays attached to you. What? So this will keep the ball right in front of you and it clips in there really easily which is really great. So I use this tool outside to practice my serving form without me having to really lose the ball. Link for this product will be in the description. I made sure to use this so that way I can work on my bow and arrow because a lot of the time the bow and arrow and the step into it is the reason why our serve doesn't go over. Now, I'm a hitter by trade, so working on my footwork was something that when I first started playing, I had to do a lot. So here I'm working on my left, right, left footwork, so that way I can better work on my timing and better work on my footwork when I'm at the net. If you are planning on hitting the ball, this is something you should work on as early as possible. That way you will learn how to do your footwork so when you get onto the net, it's not something completely new to you. Here, I'm working on my left, right, left, jump. And at the end, I'm spiking like I'm going to spike the ball. I come back and I do it again over and over until I get it. Left, right, left, jump.
Now this may be one of the hardest practice tools, but one of the best for ball control. This right here is the bump set spike to your self drill. And I know it looks easy here, but it is not you guys. It took me forever to get this. So this is really working on ball control. It's okay if you mess up. It's okay if it goes wild, just bring yourself back into place. You want to bump, set, spike, and work on the, keeping the ball right on top of you, right in front of you. Keep the ball to you. It's ball control. Now, sometimes they do this with a partner when you bump, set, spike, and then you give it to them, and then they do it as well. That's a great one as well. But since we don't have anybody this time, this is what you do. Now an important skill in volleyball is learning how to spot serve. And spot play serving is when you're looking at a particular area and you're trying to serve there. So imagine somebody on the other side of the net on the opposite team that's not paying attention. You wanna serve to them. So this is a way that you can learn how to do that. I set up different targets and my different targets are out there where I'm trying to serve towards them. If you can't serve that far, get close to the target, serve at it, then step back and as you get better, you can step further back. <sighs> so what did you guys think? Did you guys like this video? I really hope that these exercises are something that you can use to start practicing for volleyball season. As soon as you know your tryout date, the best time to start practicing is immediately. So these exercises are gonna not only show you things that you can do ahead of time, but start learning those volleyball skills you need to develop. I hope you like this video. Please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.